zero viewers. One viewer. That is me. Yeah, that was me. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna tell people that I'm doing this real quick. I don't remember where I do that. It's been a while, huh? my stream have more than one viewer. Man, maybe I should uh, stream more than once every two weeks or something. Alright. Time to suffer abject misery. Let's go, draft queue. Yeah, I know. Things that I do not do. Alright. I know what Korean Alps does. Uh, I had a sweet lobotomy deck when I was 12. I guess I should read what the rare does. Nope. Uh, oh, this is really good, right? I don't actually know. Maybe. Or is Korean Elves better? Agonizing Demise? This seems so mopey. I'm gonna take Ordered Migration and make a trillion birds instead. When I say that it seems mopey, what I mean is it seems like a very, very powerful and good card. And that's not what I'm here for. Um, I wonder if I'm meant to take elves. I'll take the elves. Two cards. Oh no. Plague spores. That's like actually somehow playable, I feel like. Oh. Wow. We're, uh. <laughs> this is like masks, except that cards are slightly more valuable. So like shackles I guess is very good. Fire squadron is fine. I guess it's not very good but it's okay. This guy's probably okay somehow. They're <laughs> like three or four playables in each pack. This is gonna be awesome. We can take Armageddon. I'm gonna just table that. Pro Red. Kill Flyers. Uh, prison Barricade, all right. I mean, I feel like Global Ruin is going to leave my opponent with three lands and then he'll still just be able to cast his spells, and I'm going to be behind on board anyway because my deck is terrible. I think I'm just going to take a 2-2 flyer. Maybe shift out of um, terrible into flying creatures. Uh, 
are actually good. Um, I mean, okay. This is so far above the power curve for this block. It is absurd. Dual lands, a grizzly bear, a razorfoot griffin. I don't know what the gen is. Was there a gen in one of those packs? Did I pass it? Yes, I'm gonna keep taking until we find white cards. Gosh. That is, that is a squire. Big green guy means absolutely nothing to me. I could take all the leeches. That's a 1 3 for 1. Um, it's like a 3 5, maybe. This guy's a squire that loots, and this guy's a squire that disenchants. Probably will want the disenchant one. I got absolutely murdered by this card in my first draft ever. Uh, is Dream Thrush good? It might be. I mean, it seems like it has to be at least fine. I assume that people are going to have an absolutely terrible mana bases, so... Let's try it. I don't feel like a 1-1 one, one flyer for 2 is so bad in this block either way. I'm looking forward to discovering how terribly wrong I am about everything. Bottomy table. <laughs> well, if I'm going down to one four, seems okay. Seems fine. Every single time, they're all the best colors. what this is, I still don't know. Uh, bandage, except it doesn't cantrip. That wasn't an important part of bandage, was it? I don't think so. Now I can splash red. Yes! Oh, that's so sick. How did I table that? So we have a Drake. There's a Cavern Harpy. Damage doesn't stack anymore, right? God, that card is insane. 
See if I return something to my hand yet. Guy's gonna brutalize me. I'm gonna take the 3 3 flyer, I guess. Seems like the obvious card. Ooh. Oh man, that's amazing. Okay. Doing it. I still don't actually know what these cards do, I'm just zooming in on them. Like, this guy seems okay? Not really. Seems mediocre. I could really use an unsummon. Mana War would be awesome, because if I'm going to play a tempo-ish deck, you know, I should probably have stuff that makes me win on tempo. It's an option, anyway. Hobble seems fine with this deck, since only has fly. Hunting Drake seems like a sweet card. I wonder if it's main deckable. Well, of course it's main deckable. I wonder if it's like Windmill Slam awesome for main deck. Um, okay, that's a card. I think I'll just take the Hobble. And then I actually have some sort of tempo-ish stuff, sort of. Sick combo with my hobble and shackles. This guy seems really good and I have two ways to pick him up. Is it? I just like, it's an enchantment which does random things so I assume that it's terrible. This guy seems very very good though and it's not so hard to put a swamp in my deck I don't think. Stormscape Familiars. Star Compass. I can take the uh Imaging. I wonder if I take this because of my bounce spells. That is a 1-1 one, one flyer. I have an unhealthy love for Slay. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be trying to splash Slay right now. Let's take the 2-drop. Flying in blue. At all combat. Damage. Oil during leap? Alright. Uh, ooh. Uh, yeah, but I'm not gonna be green, I don't think, at this point. I think I'm just two color. I don't know what to do. I don't know if this is good. 
I'll sidebar that. Cycle seems fine. Our hair's pretty good. It's to target creature, which is unfortunate. But I mean, it's just gonna be two, right? Plus it only costs two, so that's awesome. Sleeping potion, tap enchanted creature, doesn't untap. But it dies sometimes. I'm gonna take the three drop. I'm sort of confused. Like I'm getting so many playable cards. I'm gonna take a one casting cost combat trick because I don't have one. Take a flyer, I think. Combo with guard dogs. Still don't want to take daringly. Walker's Mischief. There's like no way that that can be a good card. Sunscape Familiar could be good in some spots. Not really. I'll do it. This seems like it has massive upside if I get something with a Missouri comes into playability. Sure, let's take two. Oh man, do I want three pollen remedies? Yes, I do apparently. Timing out on it. <laughs> I just have to take that, right? It's a blur. Um, can I cast anything else? Cast that. Uh, this guy's fine. I think I just have to take the two power flyer for three with a super huge upside somehow. 